When I was about 20 years old, and the doctor couldn't weigh me, and I had to go get weight on a commercial scale in the back of a fish market, and I was 540 pounds, and that now I'm having way more loose skin than I ever expected. It's one thing to be obese, and it's another thing when you reach, you know, morbid obesity. I mean, I remember uh, figuring out my BMI at heaviest recorded was like right around 70. So there's no category for that. It's beyond the category of morbid obesity. My name is John Allaire. I am 27 years old. And at my heaviest, I weighed 540 pounds. And today I am sitting at 237 pounds before skin removal surgery. And my whole family really struggles with weight, um, weight management. We were all obese. You know, I was about 380 pounds or so when my dad got sick. I was 18 uh, when he passed away from cancer. Between the time he got sick and a few months after he died, I had shot up to, to over 500 pounds. I remember just looking at myself in the mirror and I remember just seeing how big I had gotten. I was uh, over 540 pounds at this time, I assume, and just thinking that I didn't even look human anymore. I mean, and maybe it would be just better if I was dead instead of trying to have this back and forth fight for the rest of my life because I'm never gonna lose the weight and I'm always gonna be huge and it's just gonna lead to an early death and a painful funeral for my family anyway. Come on, guys, let's go. Begin. Two, one, run shake. So I would join a gym, go for a couple weeks, pay for the gym for six months, but never use it again, you know? Um, and I bounced from diet to diet. It was just years of trying and failing before something clicked for me. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, next station. The day that I really, truly committed on a deep level to losing the weight and making changes was the day that I got engaged to Kayla. I had known Kayla since we were 12. I've been in love with her since I was 15. We dated all through high school. Even though she loved me as I was and she was ready to commit to marrying me at 540 pounds, which is mind blowing, really. I was like, there is no way that I can in good conscience drag this woman through the difficulties that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life if I don't lose this weight. I think a lot of people were surprised how close we were, especially when we started dating because there was an obvious difference in, in weight. So a lot of people asked, you know, how did you get her? I was scrolling Facebook and I saw an advertisement. It was like a local gym that was like, come into our gym and you'll lose 20 pounds in six weeks. John came to our camp 10 challenges ago. It was just amazing the way he actually introduced himself. And he created this amazing video, getting rid of all the food that he wasn't supposed to be eating. So it's like he was determined from the beginning to get you know, like his weight goal. I'm sorry if that's kind of a long video, but I figured this would be the only way to push myself to get rid of that crap and also to actually introduce myself to the group and not be shy. Two, one, Rosie! Honestly, didn't think he was gonna stick with it. I didn't expect him him to get all the way down to like a healthy average person BMI. Okay, wait, 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 breathe. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, next station. I had hit the 20 pound mark, I think, in week three or four. So then it was just like, okay, well. I'll see what else I can lose, like, you know, in the six weeks. And I ended up losing just over 30 pounds. Uh, 
He lost 297 pounds on the program itself for you know, over a year and a half is incredible. Um, a lot of people will lose you know, half that weight and just be like, you know, I'm okay, I'm fine, I feel great. So he has that willpower <laughs> for sure. All right guys, awesome work. Can't stop, won't stop. One, two, three. Can't stop, won't stop. So before I ever actually started losing weight, we always knew that there was a good chance that I would have loose skin. And my wife and I had talked about that before we even got married, you know, like, okay, but would you still love me if I had a, you know, a ton of loose skin? It ended up being a lot more than I expected. Uh, I think his loose skin affects him in a lot of different ways. Definitely um, self-image. The surgery is just gonna improve his overall quality of life, I think. He's finally gonna feel like completely free, like there's not gonna be any baggage from his obesity. It's, I think, three days away. Um, so it's coming up quick. So I'm simultaneously very excited and very nervous about the, uh, the surgery. As far as the amount of excess skin that I have currently, I have been told all different estimates. As low as 10 pounds of skin, as high as um, 20 or more. I've been told that they think that it's gonna amount to like nine feet of skin. All right, this is the extra weight. A little bit more aggressive. Woo! At least 99% of it would be gone. As far as like self-confidence and looking like a man and moving like a person should, that's all gonna be taken care of. Going into the surgery was all kind of a blur. I just remember that I had to stand like a statue for like 20 minutes with my arms out while they like marked all over your body and drew all the lines they were gonna cut. I've been really impressed with seeing him from day one to, to where he is now. John is a great example of coming in and learning everything from the ground up and being able to push through whatever obstacles someone might face. And I think that a lot of people are very inspired by this. I still have a lot of swelling. Um, they say that 90% of that should be gone by about six months and that that last 10% might take up to a year to go away. Just gotta be patient. Um, it's kind of like the last piece of uh, feeling like I really transformed my body. And I really don't have any specific, you know, cards that were dealt to me that are conducive to losing weight or being a good healthy weight. And so I 100% can say like, if I can do it, anybody can do it.